Okay, how to sample in logic. I'm going to make it quick and simple. The way I do it's quite, uh, it's slightly different than the way I see um, some of these other videos doing it. So I figured I'd make a video and post it. This is for my homie Nick, but if it helps you out too, that's awesome. Um, so here's the song I'm going to be sampling. It's literally just a random song I just found in my iTunes. Um, if you want, what you can do is open up the BPM counter. Um, if you fast forward to a part with drums, it's just going to work better. Okay, so getting the BPM isn't necessary, but it can help, uh, can potentially help speed things up a bit. So, our first note's right there, so we're going to want to grab that nice and cleanly and bring it up front and line it right up with the metronome. So now, hopefully, get like a loop. So now we know the BPM is on. This allows us to just start slicing um, using the, the the numbers up here because it's lined up with the BPM. You can slice, you know, every four is going to work. Um, okay, and then down here is some drum stuff where... I'm not even going to deal with this, so we're just going to delete all that in the back end. So right here we have some simple chops, uh, but I usually like to make it a little bit, um, I guess, a little bit more unique with uh, more chops. Okay, so those are some chops that we're going to be able to use. Um, some of the longer ones up front, some of the shorter ones towards the back. Um, then you're going to go ahead and open up the EXS24 plugin, which is Logic Sampler. Alright, so now the hard part is actually out of the way. Um, what you're going to do here is open up the sampler, um, click the edit button. If the edit button is not there, if it's just like blank there, um, go into your settings, into advanced, and turn... Let's see. Show advanced tools. Make sure that is see how it just disappeared. Make sure that is on. Okay. So back to the sampler. Um, what you're gonna do is go to group over here. There's two groups, but go to the one to the right here. New group. Click that. And then you're gonna want to take all these samples and just drop them in there. So now all these samples are auto-assigned to different notes for your MIDI controller. Um, which, let me turn my on. Yeah, so now every time I hit a key, it starts one. Um, but if you listen, more than one will actually play at a time. So in order to fix that, so when you click a second note, it'll actually sh cut off the first one. You go to this groups over here, voices, poly, you can turn that to one. So now, muted it. Okay, yeah, you get the point. Okay, so now you can save the instrument, piano, chop, and now I'll just show you what you can do with the sound you just created. So, the attack here will give you kind of a build up to the sample so you can get like a pulsing feel. And then there's 
also a tune knob which you can use to speed up, speed it up, slow it down. All right, um, and then the other cool thing you can do is reverse them. So you can select them all and hit reverse here. Yeah, so that's pretty much how you sample in Logic. Hopefully this video can get you up to speed pretty quickly. Alright, enjoy.